AEW theme music in 2021 is carefully thought out, dynamic, well-produced, and expensive. Wow, you're in the mix with Pro Wrestling Bits. John Moxley walked out to Wild Thing by the Trogs this past week on AEW Dynamite and continued a growing trend within the company of AEW stars having famous copyrighted songs as their theme music. Some of the most classic theme songs in the history of wrestling are catchy, homegrown hits such as Shawn Michaels' Sexy Boy, Hulk Hogan's Real American, and Ted DiBiase's It's All About the Money. But as WWE continues to struggle through a transitional period of bland music after inexplicably firing theme music goat Jim Johnson, AEW has opted to license popular music for its bigger stars. It harkens back to a simpler time when wrestlers periodically used mainstream music. In fact, the origins of theme music in wrestling dates back to pomp and circumstances for Gorgeous George, which was eventually handed down to Randy Savage. ECW, AEW president Tony Khan's favorite promotion, did this all the time with RVD using Walk by Pantera, Sandman's iconic entrance to Enter the Sandman by Metallica, and my personal favorite, the gangsters not only walking out to Natural Born Killers by Dr. Dre and Ice Cube, but wrestling with the music slapping in the background. The problem with that formula though was ECW's outlaw promotion was using these songs without permission, with Paul Heyman all too willing to get sued over it because after all, according to Heyman himself at the time, he didn't have much money to get sued over so he basically had nothing to lose. But money is not a concern when it comes to the theme music in AEW as Tony Khan has aggressively pursued classic songs to help add a soundtrack to his stars. Khan even bought the rights to Old 55 by Tom Waits so it can be used forever in replays of the Brody Lee tribute show. Orange Cassidy now uses Where's My Mind by the Pixies, which is perfect for the character. Music hipsters love the Pixies, and wrestling hipsters love Orange Cassidy. Slam dunk. Jungle Boy's theme music was changed to Tarzan Boy. Does this need any more explanation? When live crowds return, Jungle Boy's stock will explode based on this theme music alone, which is perfectly optimized for sing-alongs. John Moxley finally changed his terrible generic rock music, which sounds like it was designed for a trailer for a straight-to-DVD action movie. Wild Thing by the Trogs is perfect. John Moxley is a whiskey-drinking loner who likes to fight, loves to bleed, and essentially is the one wrestler in AEW who doesn't belong to a stable. He's a wild car. So what better song for John Moxley than Wild Thing? And AEW needs to keep this thing going, particularly for top stars with bad theme music. Starting with Britt Baker, who might be the biggest star they have not named Darby Allin. But Britt's theme song is awful. Yuck. It's boring, bland, not memorable. Britt Baker's theme music is the audio equivalent to a community college brochure. At best, it's edgy elevator music. Even the title of the song is basic, The Epic. Stop it. When I hear Britt Baker's theme song, I don't think DMD, I think Poo Emoji. And this Doodoo Brown single needs to be spiced up immediately. Britt needs something that captures the obnoxious, entitled, Jordan-wearing heel character she so brilliantly plays on television. And I suggest Jumpman by Drink and Future. Fair warning, the song starts a little slow and doesn't have that attention-grabbing riff or sound effect at the beginning that's usually necessary to a great pro wrestling theme, but maybe they can use a drill sound. If I played you Pat's theme music right now, you'd have no idea whose song I was playing. And if you did, you really need to spend more time with your family. Get some fresh air, bruh. Long story short, Pax theme music is bollocks. It's like the music they play during a montage of a character who's strung out on drugs or at a rave, and it has to go. For the English-born pack, what better song choice than Anarchy in the UK by the Sex Pistols? I even want to see licensed theme music for my favorite jobbers like Jacob Manscout Manning, who should walk out to Bounce Back by Big Sean. Last night took an L, but tonight I bounce back. Oh, come on, I can't even legally sing along? Somebody get Tony Khan to buy me these lyrics, please. What wrestlers do you think could use some mainstream music? Tell me in the comments.